Namaste. Don't judge me by my appearance when I'm so much more. I'm going to invite you into my personal healing practice of which I've been having miraculous results as of late. Let's start by invoking the higher powers, God, Jesus, Buddha, angels, ancestors, ascended masters. Please be present for this healing. Then, if you want, you can close the eyes, smile, think loving kindness, happiness, feel the smile change the chemistry in the brain, feel the magnetics change, feel the change of the magnetics in the brain change the chemistry, feel the pineal and the pituitary gland, the drops that fall into the body, feel it moving through the body, feel it moving through the blood, feel the chemistry of your body start to change. Smile. Think of loving kindness, breathe into the toes, feel the meridians of the feet open up, exhale, smile, think of loving kindness, breathe into the meridians of the hands, feel them open up, exhale, smile, think of loving kindness, rub the knees, exhale, Smile, think of loving kindness, breathe into the root chakra, visualize it glowing bright red. Exhale. Smile, think of loving kindness, breathe into the sacral chakra, visualize it glowing bright orange. Exhale. Smile, think of loving kindness, Breathe into the solar plexus chakra. Visualize it glowing bright yellow like the sun. Exhale. <clears throat> Smile. Think of loving kindness. Breathe into the center of the chest. Visualize it glowing bright green. Exhale. Smile. Think of loving kindness. Breathe into the throat. Visualize it glowing beautiful blue. Exhale. Smile, think of loving kindness. Breathe into the space between the eyes. Visualize it glowing a beautiful purple. Exhale. Smile, think of loving kindness. Breathe into the space at the top of the crown of the head. Visualize it glowing bright gold. Exhale. Smile, think loving kindness. Breathe into the lungs. Exhale. Smile, think of loving kindness. Breathe into the intestines. Exhale. Smile, think of loving kindness, breathe into the esophagus, feel it healing. Exhale. Smile, think of loving kindness, breathe into the stomach, feel it healing. Exhale. Smile, think of loving kindness, breathe into the kidneys, feel them healing. Exhale. Smile, think of forgiveness, loving kindness, breathe into the liver. Exhale. Smile, think of loving kindness, breathe into the adrenals. Exhale. Smile, think of loving kindness, breathe into the heart. Exhale. Smile, think of loving kindness, breathe into the gonads or the ovaries. Feel them healing. Exhale. Smile, think of loving kindness, breathe into the thymus gland, center of the chest. 
Feel it healing. Exhale. Smile, breathe into the pancreas, feel it healing. Exhale. Smile, think of loving kindness, breathe into the thyroid, feel it healing. Exhale. If you have negative thoughts, the negative thought instantly travels down the Ida into the thyroid and the thyroid begins to eat itself. So think positive thoughts. The brain will send a positive signal down the Ida into the thyroid and the thyroid will begin to heal. Good. Smile, think loving thoughts, breathe into the pineal, feel your pineal growing. Exhale. Smile, think loving thoughts, breathe into the pituitary, visualize and feel your pituitary gland growing. Exhale. Breathe into the brain and see if you can feel your heart beating and the fluid being produced by the pituitary and the pineal dropping into the thalamus. Smile, breathe into the thalamus. Exhale. Smile, breathe into the thalamus. Feel it filling up with all of the chemicals being produced by all of the glands. Charge it up with loving kindness energy and then feel it flowing through your spinal column and flowing through your endocrine system and circulating through your body. Exhale. Let's move right into a purification mantra. So the speech, we have impure speech habits, whether it be cursing or just subconscious habits that we have, negative thoughts. So the speech is connected to the subconscious mind. So we're gonna do some purification mantras. These purification mantras will purify your speech and purify your mind. And by purifying your speech and your mind, you'll purify your heart and your soul, and you'll get deep-seated healing from this. So smile. We're gonna do Om Mene Padme Hum first. Om Mene Padme Hum, 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 Om Mene Padme Hum. Om Mene Padme Hum, 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 Om Mene Padme Hum. Om mene padme hum, 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 om mene padme hum. Om mene padme hum, 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 om mene padme hum. Next, we're gonna do Hallelujah, very powerful mantra. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Good. Next, we're going to do the eye positions. So you can close the eyes, then cross the eyes so that they meet right in front of the nose. Press the tongue right where the teeth meet the gums. Eye position one. We're going to move to eye position two, keep the eyes crossed, and now we're gazing up at the third eye, right at the forehead, and then you bring the tongue between the top of the gums where they meet the teeth, and then the top of the back of the apex of the throat, of the top of the roof of the mouth.
Now we're gonna do eye position three. You cross the eyes and gaze up like you were looking out through the top of the crown of the head, and the tongue position touches right where the roof of the mouth turns back into the throat. Good, come out of the meditation. Now feel and visualize yourself healed. And you can say, I am healed, 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 I am healed. Thanks for watching so much, guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Questions or comments you can leave below. This is my first publication. It's an interpretation of the Yoga Sutras. It's a recitation comparative reasoning, reasoning copy. So comparative reasoning is when you read something and then compare it to something else. So where a lot of versions are commentary copies, this focuses on the sutras themselves, just like Patanjali says. And the second sutras, the second sutra 2-1, the second pada says, uh, the actions of yoga are religious austerity, recitation of the sutras and devout worship worship of whatever created this reality. So right here, Patanjali states that you're supposed to recite the sutras. So that's why this is a recitation copy, and it gives you multiple translations, so I try to get as much oomph into the translation as possible. Repeated study, svadhyaya is part of a spiritual practice, and it doesn't matter what spiritual practice you're part of, Studying and repeated study of the spiritual text is essential for the spiritual growth. Unless you're high up enough to where you can sit there and unravel all of your past lives and understand the laws of the universe just by sitting there by yourself in meditation, which is completely possible. But even Buddha and Jesus himself, uh, they both were exposed to the spiritual text. Jesus was well versed in the, in the text and the Buddha guarantee you had the greatest education of his time growing up in the in the palace i'm sure he had the greatest education of anybody up to his time so the the study of the spiritual text is very important if you look at the octopus an octopus could probably do a rubik's cube faster than me so octopus is very intelligent and it has eight arms but the reason why octopuses haven't reached more of a pinnacle of intelligence than the human beings is because human beings are able to write text and share with their ancestors so that they get smarter with every single generation. So now in this generation, we have access to all of the previous written literature. So it's quite a wonderful time to be alive. And both the Buddha and Jesus himself say, uh, Jesus says, I tell you, my people, that is from lack of knowledge that you suffer. And the Buddha says, uh, ignorance is the cause, the root cause of suffering, even before uh, the defilements of avidya and attachment and greed and anger and all of these other defilements that are can be inside of us that we're trying to purify so that we can reach a state of spiritual bliss and happiness and peace. Namaste, guys.